Hey everybody, so I decided to give a quick little update on what's been going on the last few months. Um, I did just finally get off my lazy ass, well I can't get off my lazy ass, I'm kind of paralyzed still, but um, I finally got around to dumping the last five videos of King's Bounty I had recorded before everything kind of went to hell. Um, so, basically the last couple of months or so have been full of a bunch of bumblefuckery. Um, I, because of the state's handling of the thing that shall not be named, um, basically the nursing home that I'm, my wound is still healing. I'll get into that later. But basically, they had to make a isolation wing. So the west side of the building is the isolation wing, and then how it works is if you go out, if you leave the building, if you go out for any reason, you know, be it doctor's appointment or, you know, emergency, whatever, if you leave the facility for any reason, when you come back, you have to go into the isolation wing for two weeks. You, you have to be quick because you might have gotten, you know, you might have encountered the, the gribble while you were out there. Even though they fucking, yeah. The tests and the fucking getting checked at constantly. And, but anyway, so you're into a quarantine. Well, if another person comes, since there's two beds in each room, there's one room and there's four beds. If another person comes into the room during your quarant during your quarantine time, your timer gets reset. If either person goes out for any reason, when that person comes back, both people in the room get their thing reset. Now, there's also the problem with there not being enough with all of the beds on the other side of the room of the other side of the building being taken up. Because, you see, here's the thing. There are empty rooms in the center, but for some reason they can't use them because of some bullshit state thing. Like, they have to pay the state to be able to use the... I, I guess it must be an insurance thing or something. I, I don't know. It's some, some retarded... It's Michigan. So, just leave it at it. It's Michigan. It's retarded. So there's, like, a bunch of empty rooms in the center, but I guess those are only for if they pay the state to be able to use them or some shit. So all the beds on the other side, and, you know, the the side of that can go out, they can go outside, they can eat in the dining room. Not that I eat in the dining room anyway, but going outside and having a smoke is one thing. Not that, not that I'm having, I'm not having, I've never had nicotine withdrawals, it's, it's not so much this, it's the principle of the matter, you know, even prisoners in maximum security prison, by law, are supposed to get yard time, we can't even leave the room, we cannot leave the room, <laughs> you know, that, that, that's, that's the thing. So, and here, here's the problem. You think, well, eventually one of these old fucks has to go out for a doctor's appointment. And then they're going to have to come down here and there will be a bed open. Here's the problem. The people on the other side are at, they don't want to come down here. They don't want to get sent down here. So they're actually, there's a lot of people over there that are refusing to go to their appointments. Kind of stupid for, you know, a bunch of people in the care facility, but that's how much they don't want to come down here. They don't want to not be able to go outside or anything like that, or leave their rooms or anything. I mean, I've been stuck in here for, 
I've been stuck in here for shit. Three months? Yeah, I've been stuck in here for about three months. Unable to leave. Just sitting in at, I mean, there, there's, there's no, I mean, my, my wheelchair is basically being used. That's where my case of water is. That's where my drinks are. That's about the only purpose my wheelchair serves. To throw, put my drinks on. You know, stack those up when the old man can bring them to me. So, shit is still bumblefuck beyond all recognition. Gippy skippy. As far as my healing, my wound goes, well, back when the bumblefuckery started, I went to the wound clinic and they were like, oh, it, it's, it's doing so well. And I, I saw a picture of it. It's still deep. But it, it's closed up. It, it it's healed. It looks it looks like somebody took a knife and stabbed me and basically carved you know the you know the the curved V part of the vault symbol in Borderlands. That's what it, it looks like. Somebody stabbed me and made that curved upside down V symbol. You know it. it it's deep, but it, like, closed up weird. And they're like, oh, well, it's closed up, so we're gonna take you off the wound back. And they took me off the wound back. We'll see you in six weeks. I was like, okay. So six weeks pass, and I didn't think they should have taken me off the wound back. I think it, it's still deep. That You know, the negative pressure thing, that's what was helping it heal. Well, of course, I come back six weeks later, and it's it it was worse. It had gotten worse. Ooh, it's like, well, no fucking shit. It's gotten worse. You took me out the fucking wound back. Dumbasses. Seriously, that hospital is about half fucking retarded. I mean, it's like, you go to the wound clinic, and you have to bring your own wound supplies. Dressing supplies. <clears throat> Because, you know, the the large hospital in a big city, you know, this hospital is in Grand Rapids. It's in a big city. This this big hospital, which is connected to one of the top, you know, literally connected to this building is one of the best rated rehabilitation centers in, in the country. Yet this hospital is about as retarded, is retarded as fuck. It's like the the rehabilitation center is great. The hospital's dumb though. It's it it's like the stark contrast. Fucking yin yang thing going on. Intelligence retardation. But yeah. So they they ordered to put me back on the wound back. It took a week and a half for the fucking thing to get here. And they finally hooked me up to it. And you know, it's like, oh, you hooked me up to it, and I gotta go to the fucking wound wound clinic in like two days. That that, that seems like a wasted fucking trip. To, it's like, oh, let's see how it's improved. Oh, look, it hasn't improved. Yeah, because I just got the fucking thing two days ago. Talk about slow ass delivery. And then, the day after I got back from the wound clinic that time. An aide tripped on one of the hoses, and the thing fell off the dresser. Well, those things can fall. They're pretty sturdy. The problem is it landed on the, the charge cable, the power cable, and it landed in just the right way. And we didn't know this because the battery on those things lasts for about two days. Well, over the weekend, it's like, that thing's being real quiet. And we looked at it, and it was turned off. And we looked at the side, and it's like, oh. So the thing had landed, and the little metal part that plugs in broke off. And we, you ever break a key off in a lock? It was basically like this. just a little metal nub sticking out. So we had to order another wound back. Somehow that one got here in two days. Instead of a week and a fucking half. 
I don't know how, but whatever. I am back on a wound back. It's working as intended. So December 3rd is when I go back to the wound clinic. And yeah. So there's that bumblefuckery that's been the last few months. Uh, before that, however, uh, like I said, I dropped the rest of the King's Bounty things that have just been sitting on my hard drive. They're lucky they survived because my save file didn't. I had a problem where the battery fucked up in my uh, lap in my laptop, and it had to go to the shop a couple times because it came back and then it was so fucked up. So we had to send it back, and it came back, and it's working now. It's working now. Every it's got got a new battery. And they did, you know, but I lost the save file, unfortunately. So, King's Bounty is fucking dead. Um, on top of that, I can't really record long-term videos, because me constantly talking day in and day out would probably really annoy my roommate. <laughs> <coughs> He was cool when I asked him about the Halloween thing. That's that's why the that's why we got to do the Halloween bit. Um so I'm going fucking insane. Because I mean I'm I've been playing games, but I'm it's like I, I, I wanna put some stuff out because like I have this one patron, he's really great. It's like through this whole thing, even though I've barely been able to put out any content, he's still supporting me with monthly donations, and there's a few people on Patreon also that are still kicking me a few bucks, and it's like, thanks. It's all like, I, I don't, I, I really don't know what to say other than thanks. I don't, but... Uh, so, you might be, I'm using this little thing of, a uh, Miriam, this little bloodstained clip. So, I figured, hmm, I can't babble constantly, like I normally do. Although there's probably some people out there that would like me to shut the fuck up and just play the damn game, but... Hehehehe, <laughs> my channel, bitch. Um... But, just to have something, just to be able to put something out, um, I'm going to be doing a series of no commentary things. Um, basically, if it says no commentary, it means that I have a roommate. Uh, basically what it is. Um, and they're not really gonna be like, they're not really gonna be like concrete, you know, full let's plays or anything. I'm thinking like, uh, right now I'm thinking about just starting off with some bloodstained randomizers things. Because that race was the first time I've actually used the randomizer on Bloodstained. And it's like... Eh, eh, eh. So I figured we'd play around with that. And I don't know. I, I, I might... I might delve into some emulator stuff. Some, some short things. So... I, I don't know. But... I'm going to get some stuff recorded. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Adios.